Hello and welcome to the Liftbridge Kitchen. I am Brad Glenn, the owner of Liftbridge Brewery, and I'm here with Jeff from Steady Pour. And Liftbridge loves doing collaborations with a lot of other cool companies in the area. And one thing we love to do is mix in some of our beers and seltzers with other alcohol and make even more special drinks. So Jeff is going to show us a few tips and tricks as an excuse for getting together and doing this. We're using, hey, it's International Rum Day at some that's point right. in time. So that's that's a good excuse. So Jeff, why don't you tell them about Steady Pour? Absolutely. So um, Steady Pour, we're a Minneapolis-based beverage company um, specializing in high-quality craft cocktails. This summer, in lieu of bartending actual events, we've been doing weekly um, weekly drops on our website for cocktail kits available for delivery and pickup. So I've been doing that all through summer. And then we do have an event space, a physical location that's gonna be opening up, um, hopefully in September. Again, due to current times, it'll be reservation based, but still looking to deliver that um, craft cocktail, cocktail bar experience just at a, at a safe distance. Um, like you said, love partnering with local people and products, making cool things, and seltzer cocktails sound super good, super exciting. Heck yeah, well, let's make some drinks. So this cocktail, we're gonna make a Northwoods Collins. Um, using the Northwoods Juice Box Seltzer of yours? Yeah, Northwoods Juice Box, our best seller. Uh, unique with uh, the cranberry and apple. None of the national brands use quintessential Minnesota fruits like that. Perfect. Um, and so those, both those flavors, like you said, the cranberry and the apple go really well with ginger. And so for this version of the Collins, we're doing ginger syrup, lime juice, and gin. Those are in the shaker here. We're gonna give it a short shake and then we're gonna top it with that seltzer. Sounds good. Just enough to get it mixed and chilled. And then just top it with the uh, Northwoods juice box there. All right. Top it with the seltzer. And then just a couple limes on top. Ooh, nice. Well, let's try it out. Cheers. Northwoods Collins. So along with Northwood's Juice Box, another lead brand we have is St. Croix Berries, both available in 12 packs now, selling really well. St. Croix Berries, again, features more Minnesota uh, melange with berries, the blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry. Very cool. Yeah. Um, so we want to take that, uh, those existing berries flavors and add even more fruit to them. Um, so we did a rum cocktail here. We started with dark rum, pineapple juice, ginger juice, and lime juice. Those are in the shaker here. We'll give them a quick shake to combine. Um, then we'll strain into our cocktail glasses and top them with that St. Croix Berry Seltzer. Um, staying true to that Minnesota Midwestern berry flavor, but really pushing it in a, in a tropical direction. Sounds great. Yeah, rum and berries go really well together, I think, too. So I'll have you top them, and sure. then I have some pineapple fronds for the garnish. Ooh, that looks fantastic. Uh, natural pineapple juice then and ginger? Everything, yep, fresh juice. Oh, fantastic. Garnish away. Let's go to the tropics, huh? There you have it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Ooh, super good. So summer in Minnesota is not over yet. We're gonna take the opportunity to make something fun, tropical, and break out the blender. Nice, well, we'll use our island time then because it's, perfect. it's island time. We got our uh, tropical mango, pineapple, and passion fruit flavors, which, you know, they go right in the blender, right? It's perfect. So uh, those, those flavors are uh, the exact flavors in a hurricane cocktail. So we're gonna do a frozen hurricane. You can go ahead and add the, a full can of seltzer to the blender. To that we have dark rum, light rum, passion fruit juice, um, orange juice, and lime juice. So we'll add those, you can add the ice. And then just a little simple syrup. Ooh, that's looking good. <clears throat> so we added the seltzer first and we're gonna start the blender on low. These are carbonated and so that's gonna knock some of that carbonation out uh, so that the, uh, so the blender doesn't explode Ooh. here. Chance of it exploding then. Get that blended. Looks great. No 
explosion. No explosion. And we have our cocktail glasses here. Nothing screams somewhere like breaking out that blender and getting all those tropical flavors in. Thank you. There you are. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. Frozen Hurricane. Oh, Ooh. fantastic. Summertime. That's so good. Mm. That's so good. So another new seltzer we came out with this year was the Blue Agave Margarita. It's delicious. You know, inspired by the margarita, we use natural blue agave, lime, a little bit of orange too. And again, that's inspired by the classic margarita. So I guess curious to think how you're going to elevate that and what were you inspired by? Absolutely. Uh, so sticking with that, with the agave, uh, we're going to use an agave spirit. So we've got tequila and we're going to make a tequila celery fizz. Celery. And so yeah, it's a lot, of, a lot of crazy flavors going on, but it works beautifully. Um, so in the shaker, we have an egg white, we have the tequila, lemon juice, simple syrup, and the celery juice. Okay. So I'm gonna shake first without ice, and then shake with ice. Okay, so the first shake with that egg white is building the, the foam from exactly. the egg white. Exactly, yep, getting it nice and frothy. Okay. You'll, we'll see that texture when we pour it. Nice, and then the second shake with the ice then just cools everything down, stabilizes everything. Exactly, so everything's foamed up right now. And then we're going to chill it down and dilute it with the ice. Right. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. And then you'll top it with just a little bit of that salsa. Ooh, look at that color and texture. Wow, the foam is amazing. Fantastic, this looks great. Cheers. Well, thanks for joining us in the Liftbridge kitchen. You can find all these recipes on liftbridgebrew.com on our blog. And Jeff, thank you for joining us. And how can people find out about Steady Pour? Thank you so much for having me. Um, at Steady Pour is the Instagram. Uh, if you want to cocktail recipes, cocktail photos, as well as progress photos of the upcoming event space. And then steadypour.com is the online shop and website for those weekly cocktail kits. All right, well, drink well, drink local, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.